right here on the national stage. Thank you, Lauren. They will work out of the empty set on first down and pressure coming from SMU and they get the sack. Richard McBride, last year's top tackler, the senior from Troy, Alabama and immediate pressure here, Kirk. And it's third and 14, just 26% this season on third downs. And more pressure and a second sack in the first possession of the game for this SMU defense. Opportunity for other guys to step up in the backfield and it's first and 10. Pratt play action, has a man downfield, into the end zone and the touchdown to Jones. And the green wave able to capitalize on the SMU miscue. You. And a terrific throw from Michael Pratt to Mikel Jones for six. That huge game against Memphis, a career high in their upset win of the Tigers their last time out. And a first down run here. He can score at any point on the field. That's going to be a big loss for the SMU offense. Bouchel on second down with time and first down yardage again. And look at this after the catch from Kylan Granson, the senior tight end out of Austin, takes it across midfield. 43 yards down to the 32-yard line of Tulane. Danny Gray is the motion man, and he'll get it here on the jet sweep. Good stiff arm inside the 20 with first down yardage, diving for the pylon. Did he stay in bounds? They are going to say yes, he did. Touchdown, Mustangs. It's how, it's how you got to do it. You got to respond. Tulane, they score. SMU says, hey, hold on. Give me just a little time. We'll come back. We'll score our own touchdown. On everybody's nameplate, wanting to bring more awareness to social injustice and inequality. Off the play action, and Pratt finding Jones, breaking a tackle. And Amari Jones showing us his ability to pick up extra yardage after the grab. Tyler Page is the motion man. Bouchelle. Looking deep down the near sideline, puts it up for Danny Gray. And they say he did come down with the catch and another big play for SMU. You got to love Shane Bouchel. Just watch the ball placement from the quarterback. He puts it to the outside. Where... With a long of 46, so this would be his best effort of the year. And on a very gusty day in NOLA, that kick is good. And SMU with the 10-7 lead. He can play in the backfield the entire game. SMU needs to add somebody to get him locked up. Pass across the middle and caught. Tyler Page stays on his feet. The cutback inside the 25-yard line. And yet again, another huge play. He's the guy that lined all the way up. Bouchel. Down he goes, and the sack for Tulane to force the fourth down. And around here, first down, terrific cutback. Down inside the 40 for Fat Watts. Working out of the pistol on second down, looking for some ground game and they find some. Big burst, Stefan Hutterson. I'm too late. I go right back to the same play. Yeah, second and goal. Pratt again, this little spin move. Still no word from the officials, and there it is. He's in. Touchdown to Lane, and they retake the lead. Good job there by Michael Pratt. He ran the same play, but this time lean and found just enough. Just find a little bit of a hole and rolls all the way into the end zone. Bouchel looking deep down the middle. Out near midfield and the catch is made by Rashi Rice. And another big play for Bouchel. Looking right the whole way, the fade. Has it up in the air for Rice. And Rashi brings it down. Touchdown SMU. A little bit earlier, they look to the outside and they get one-on-one, -on -one, and that's just easy. That's just a pitch and catch 
for Shane Bouchelle. He throws it up and he allows his six foot one. This will be a 34 yard attempt for Merrick Glover, who's got that one through to even things up at 17 apiece for Tulane. They need a conversion. This has been a problem for Tulane through the first four games, and not one here. Hutterson inside the 10, breaks a couple of tackles, and hits pay dirt for the green wave. As he sets his new career high in rushing, Hutterson also gets Tulane the lead back. This is all about vision. Watch the vision of Hutterson. He's going toward the left, but he puts that left foot in the ground, cuts it all the way back. Helen Mond and the Aggies keep it going uh, following their big win against Florida last week. We're going to try the reverse here, and they'll throw off it, and wide open at midfield is Rice breaking a tackle. Hauled out of bounds at the 20-yard line, and SMU brings out the trick play. We're going to bunch him up on the left side. Bentley will shift over that way, and he'll run it that way. Trying to get the corner, and he does. Touchdown, Ulysses Bentley. And a PAT away from tying it up. Just allow your running back to just get one-on-one. -on -one. So you get one-on-one -on -one right there, you make a guy miss, so just a little high step, and put your defense back out there on the field. Bouchelle's been terrific on third down tonight. He will drop it off underneath and see if Danny Gray can do the work for him, and Gray's going to get the first down. Breaking a tackle at midfield. Gray inside the 30, and the defender, Monroe, got an angle on him to shove him out of bounds, and another huge conversion, and the big plays continue. So now instead of the 28-yarder, this is a 33-yard attempt. And he's got it. SMU grabs the lead, 3.17 to go here in the third. Seven penalties now in the second half. For Tulane, their 10th of the night. Pratt going up top. Has a man behind the defense down to the 10-yard line. Deuce Watts hauls it in. Hand fighting the whole way, maintained his balance and his focus, hauled it in. But now second and goal, Pratt delays and heads for the end zone and he's in. And Tulane will grab the lead to start out the fourth quarter. And then Michael Pratt just says, you know what, if you're going to give me the lane, I'm going to take it. That was a design run. They've been waiting for that play. A couple of tight ends in the backfield with Bentley. Bouchelle will throw it. Into the end zone, back shoulder, touchdown, and it's Danny Gray. It's just one-on-one -on, -one on the outside, and watch the route. That's look, the route by Gray. Just a quick fake hesitation, and it bought just a little bit of time. Those Watts brothers that you're looking for on third down, if you're Michael Pratt. Pratt thought about Amari Jones out of the backfield. Now he'll have to improvise. Pratt, pressure coming. Reverses direction, back outside around the 25 and chucks it out of bounds. The field goal to tie it, 27 yarder and it is good. The stop and get the ball back for our guys. Bouchel rifles it across the middle, first down, caught by Tyler Page. And he's inside the 40-yard line, cut down there. And SMU's back in business with 47 seconds to go. For the late lead from 57 yards out. On its way, and it doinks off the right, upright, and it is no good. Pratt against Token. Pressure, it's intercepted. It is picked off by Brandon Crossley. And a big stop for the SMU defense. Low snap in place, and Chris Nagar splits the uprights for SMU, and they win it in overtime, 37-34. That snap, but Derek Green picks the ball up, gets it down. 
even spun the laces wow. around. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.